Hello everybody, uh, this is Cesar. Uh, I am making this video because uh, there was a question posted online and I think uh, uh, I, I um, can better answer it with a video. I apologize, I'm not dressed up. Um, you know, it is uh, 9.30 p.m. so I didn't feel like getting dressed for the video, I'm sorry. But uh, if you want to reach out to me for any tax questions related to the U.S., especially expats living outside the U.S., this is my email. This first page here is my certificate uh, from the United States Tax Court because I'm a tax court practitioner. Here is my email again. And this is my certificate from the IRS because I am an enrolled agent and you can Google what that means. And this is my email again, and this is my certificate as a financial risk manager. And of course I have a bachelor's degree and other certifications, but I think that this is enough for you to know that I know what I'm talking about. So the question is, um, I quit my job in the middle of the year in the US and move to the Czech Republic. I am trying to understand how to avoid being double taxed for my income here for this year. Any advice would be appreciated. Okay, so first of all, uh, every US citizen has to file a tax return if you are required to file a tax return. That means uh, not everybody has to file a tax return. If you make very little money, like for example, if you are single and you don't make more than 12,000, 800, I believe it's gonna be for 2021, uh, then you don't need to file. You might want to file for other reasons, but you know, that's beside the point. Like, let's assume that you have to file, okay? That does not mean that you're gonna be paying US taxes because expats can use two things. They can use the foreign air income exclusion and the foreign tax credit. Uh, this person who posted the question moved to the Czech Republic in the middle of the year. Okay, so the easiest thing to do is to file a tax return, report the income from the Czech Republic, and then take a tax credit for taxes paid to the Czech Republic. I have been preparing taxes for US expats in the Czech Republic, and everybody uh, has wiped out their US taxes with the taxes they pay in the Czech Republic. I have researched this. Well, I have seen this form before, but if you want to know what you need to file in the Czech Republic, this is how your uh, tax form is gonna be. It's, it says, Priznanik Danik Primofisis Kich Osov. This is declaration of taxes from income for physical person. Uh, this is for individuals. And the way I found this form is I went to financhnisprava.czkatseset uh, I already tried the English. Oh, let me show you the English tax forms. But unfortunately, the English version, for whatever reason, don't have the tax form. I guess they haven't translated this part. But if you go to the check, Danjovit is Kopisi, uh, 2021. Here. You open it and boom. This is your check tax return. In here, you are going to write your salary and also how much you're paying taxes. Okay. So you take what you earn uh, in the check, uh, in check crowns. You have to translate it into US dollars uh, using, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that, but in practice, uh, we use the IRS average exchange rate. And then you come in here and you file this form for 1116 foreign tax credit. I'm not gonna go through it because that will take a lot of time, but basically you tell the IRS here that yes, you got income from the Czech Republic, but you already pay tax here. So you want a credit for that. And then you basically wipe out your tax. So that's, I think the easiest way. I think that for almost everybody in the Czech Republic, this is, uh, the way to do it, but it's not the only way. 
there is also the foreign and income exclusion. Okay, foreign and income exclusion. And for that, you file this form. Um, you are not uh, prevented from filing both. Like if you are making more than a hundred and thousand dollars, I'm I'm rounding these numbers. Okay, I'm not gonna say number exactly. If you want the details, you can email me and I can have a call with you. Uh, but you can use the exclusion and the credit. So if you are making two hundred thousand dollars, maybe you want to use both. But you know the credit might be enough. So why are you gonna work? A lot of, uh, so hard for for some people using the credit or the exclusion might result might give you the same result which is means zero tax in the us but there are benefits to using the the credit in my opinion so if they're both give you the same result my opinion is you should use the credit especially you have children or you will have children all right but things uh let's say that that this person who moved uh, from the US to the Czech Republic in the middle of the year want to use the exclusion. You need to qualify for it. You need to qualify two ways, uh, bona fide resident. And that means you establish residence in a foreign country and you were a bona fide resident for the whole year. So obviously if you move to the Czech Republic in the middle of the year, you don't qualify for this, but you qualify for the physical present test. And I pulled this from the IRS, by the way. So instructions for tonight, let me just show you how to do that. You go to IRS.gov, form two, 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 two. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, instructions, all right? Physical presence test. Ah, um, all right, so here we go. To meet this test, you must be a U.S. citizen or resident alien who is physically present in a foreign country or countries for at least 330 full days during any period of 12 months in a row. So, it doesn't mean a year, a calendar year. It can be, let's say that this person moved in July 1st, so from July 1st to June 30th from next year. You have to stay out of the U.S. for 330 days to qualify for this exclusion, okay? So the question is, well, if this person will meet this requirement in June 30, but uh, the taxes are due June 15, then he will be late because you cannot really file before you qualify. So how do you do it? Well, oh, by the way, the deadline for expat is June 15 if you are not in the US in April 15, but for people in the US, it's April 15, just, just so you know. Well, you file an extension. So you file an extension, uh, it is form, to be honest, I forgot. Form 4868, I believe it is. Uh, I never mind, I didn't forget. So you file an extension, uh, you can mail this in there are ways that you can also e-file, you know, with tax software. Uh, if you hire me to prepare your taxes, I can find an extension for you if you are in this situation, but you can mail this in. Just if you mail it from outside the US, make sure you use private delivery services. Okay. And I'm doing this real life on real time for you guys so that you can find it all yourself. You can use, you have to use one of these company, one of these services, and you will send it here to Austin. Why? Because if you mail this in using a check post and it get lost, it's as if you didn't file. But if you mail this in using one of these services, even if it get lost, it's considered a file. Um, there is another form that someone can file uh, in this situation that you know that they, they need time to qualify for that. Ah, what is it? Yeah, form uh, twenty five thirty. But look, I I am the person who uh, follows the law. Uh, especially tax law. So I don't do anything, uh, you know, 
that are uh, uncertain. But this form is is not necessary. You can use form. You can use file the the forty eight fifty eight because uh, if you uh, get until um, um, October fifteen, you know that's that's uh, that's enough to uh, to wait to meet the the, the uh, <laughs> to meet the physical present test requirement. So uh, let's see here. Uh, all right, so that's 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 my advice. Now, of course, this is from the U.S. side. I am not a Czech tax advisor, but I recommend that if you arrive to the Czech Republic in 2021 or 20. <laughs> I mean, if you're working in the Czech Republic, you should talk to a, a Czech accountant. I have friends uh, that I can recommend you to if you want, but I'm not going to give the names out here. So you have to ask me personally, uh, but you should file your Czech taxes and then you take the credit for taxes paid to the Czech Republic or alternative, you can also exclude the income, which is another way. But in my opinion, the uh, foreign tax credit is a better uh, route. And uh, here is my email again, Caesar at caesartax.com. And this is not tax advice. This is me trying to answer the question for somebody. If you want tax advice, please email me. Let's have a call or you can, uh, uh, oh, I also have a Facebook group. Let me, let me open that up here. Right. Hold on. There you go. It's US tax consultation for US expa, US taxpayers, expats and US base. Uh, I have some videos there that talk about this issue. This first one I had at the expat center in Ostrava. And then there are others that you should be, you know, should be aware of, for example, F bar filing and et cetera, et cetera. So thanks for listening. I hope this helped. If you know somebody who can benefit from this information, Share the video and have a good night.